Hi guys, in the previous lecture that is the lecture number 26, we have derived all the parameters related to buck boost converter that is the from point number 1 to 14. Now in this lecture we will solve all the questions that has been asked in gate exam from 1991 to 2017 based on buck boost converter. Okay, so let us move to the first question. In figure the ideal switch is switched on and off with the switching frequency f is equal to 10 kilohertz. Switching frequency is given. The switching time period is t is equal to t on plus t off is equal to 100 microsecond time period is also given. The circuit is operated in a steady state and the boundary of continuous and discontinuous conduction means circuit is operating at the boundary of continuous and discontinuous conduction means inductor current waveform will be just touching the zero. So in this case IL minimum will be zero. This much I got the information by reading the question. Now you have to find the T on time of the switch and second the value of the peak current IP. Peak current I will get that is equal to IL max only right. So the B part we have to find IL max and for A part we have to find the T on time ok. Now see how I am approaching without using the formula. Let us see what are the parameter are given here supply voltage Vs is given output voltage is also given and see the polarity of output voltage the polarity of output voltage is from minus to plus means it is opposite to the convention that I used so here V0 you have to take positive got it so V0 is equal to dVs upon 1 minus d you have to do like this right I will not take minus because in the convention that I have used the V0 polarity I have taken from plus to minus but actually it will be from minus to plus like this and in original question the polarity is given from minus to plus so V0 will come out to be positive do not get confused so I will use V0 is equal to dBs upon 1 minus D it will be equal to 500 is equal to 100 D upon 1 minus D so it will be 500 minus 500 D is equal to 100 D so 600 D is equal to 500 so D will come out to be 5 by 6 now you have to find the T on so we know that D is equal to T on upon T that is equal to 5 by 6 so T on will come out to be 5 by 6 into time period time period is given as 100 microsecond and we have to find the T on of switch in microsecond so take 100 only it will be 500 by 6 microsecond that is equal to 83.33 microsecond got it now in part b i have to find the il max right so what is the formula of il max here see this waveform the inductor current waveform is just continuous like this then what is the peak inductor current the peak in the inductor current is nothing but del il only so if you will apply il max is equal to il plus del il by 2 you can get from this formula also no problem here IL you will get that is equal to del IL by 2 right so del IL by 2 plus del IL by 2 is equal to del IL only so you can use this formula also but here from waveform I can easily say that IL max peak value of inductor current is equal to del IL only because this is the waveform at the boundary of continuous and discontinuous conduction so I can easily write IL max that is equal to del IL and del IL in boost converter how to find VL on is equal to supply voltage that is 100 L del IL upon DT is equal to 100 so del IL will come out to be D into 100 by FL put the value of F is equal to 10 kilohertz L is equal to I think 100 micro Henry and D is equal to 5 by 6 you will get del is equal del IL is equal to 83.3 ampere so what will the IL max IL max is equal to 83.3 ampere got it now see the next problem next problem a buck boost converter this is buck boost converter shown in the figure is used to convert 20 volt to 36 volt means Vs is 20 volt and V0 is 36 volt feed a load of 72 kilowatt means output power is equal to 72 watt is given it is operated at switching frequency is equal to 20 kilohertz with the inductor of 2 milli henry and output capacitor is equal to 
1000 microfarad all devices are considered to be ideal we have to find the peak voltage across the solid state switch we have to find the peak voltage across this switch so see here this switch with a standard voltage when this is in off state right so when this is in off state then the equivalent circuit will look like this okay and this switch when this switch will be off then all the inductor will deliver this power through this diode okay so no need to draw this inductor circuit because i have to apply the kvl during off condition so during off condition the voltage drop across this switch will be let us apply kvl minus 24 plus vsw minus 36 this is 36 is equal to 0 so vsw will come out to be 24 plus 36 that is equal to 60 volt this is the peak voltage across the switch why because peak voltage i will get across the switch only when the switch will be in off condition and when switch will get off then the equivalent circuit will look like this diode is conducting in off state in buck boost converter right so this diode will be sorted so apply kvl in this loop you will get vs w is equal to 60 volt this has been asked in gate 2016 for two marks now see the gate 2017 problem there are two problem has been asked in gate 2017 based on buck boost converter okay they ask one question in set one and one question in set two so let us solve this problem the input voltage vdc of buck boost converter shown below varies from 32 to 72 volt vdc is varying from 32 to 72 volt means supply voltage is variable assume that all component are ideal inductor current is continuous means we are talking about continuous conduction mode and output voltage is ripple free the range of duty ratio d of the converter for which the magnitude of a steady state output voltage remains constant means we have to find the range of duty cycle what is the formula of output voltage see the polarity it is from minus to plus so i will take positive so d v s upon 1 minus d okay and here you can see that vs is varied from 32 to 72 volt so take first vs is equal to 32 volt okay and another and then take vs is equal to 72 volt in order to get the range of duty cycle v naught is constant that is equal to i think 48 volt so it will be 48 is equal to d into 32 upon 1 minus d it will come out to be 48 minus 48 d is equal to 32 d so 80 d is equal to 48 so d will come out to be 48 upon 80 that is equal to 6 by 10 that is equal to 3 by 5 okay now take vs is equal to 72 volt and find d v naught is given already that is equal to 48 is equal to d into 72 by 1 minus d okay it will come out to be 48 is equal to 120d so d is equal to 2 by 5 so option a is correct means the value of duty ratio lies between 2 by 5 less than equal to d less than equal to 3 by 5 right so for lower voltage d will be more for higher voltage d will be less got it in this way option is correct this has been asked in gate 2017 in set 1 for 2 marks problem and you can easily solve by applying this approach okay now see the last problem this has been also asked in gate 2017 in set 2 for 2 marks question okay in the circuit zone all elements are ideal and the switch is operated as switching frequency is given duty ratio is given d is equal to 0 0.6 the capacitor is large enough so that the ripple across it is negligible and the steady state across the voltage from the peak current in ampere drawn from the 50 volt dc source we have to find what is the peak current of source current is peak okay what we have to find we have to find the peak current of source current so you can see that when switch will close this switch will close then inductor will charge up to maximum current like this inductor il inductor current will charge from il minimum to il maximum right and this is il maximum is nothing but is maximum also source current maximum is equal to il maximum during on condition so what is the peak current drawn from the source is max is nothing but il max okay they are asking il max so they are playing with your mind whether you know the concept or not 
सो आई एस पीक दैट इज आई एस मैक्स इज इक्वल टू आई एल मैक्स दैट इज इक्वल टू आई एल प्लस डेल आई एल बाई टू राइट नाउ यू कैन फाइंड आई एल एंड डेल आई एल बाई टू लाइक दिस सी हाउ आई एम फाइंडिंग आई एल एंड हाउ आई एम फाइंडिंग डेल आई एल विदाउट नोइंग द फॉर्मूला ओके सो फर्स्ट फाइंड द डेल आई एल ड्यूरिंग ऑन कंडीशन वट इज द वोल्टेज ड्रॉप एक्रॉस इंडक्टर वी एल ऑन इज इक्वल टू सप्लाई वोल्टेज दैट इज फिफ्टी सो एल डेल आई एल अपॉन डी टी इज इक्वल टू सप्लाई वोल्टेज फिफ्टी सो डेल आई एल इज इक्वल टू फिफ्टी इन टू डी अपॉन एफ एल राइट डी इज गिवन पॉइंट सिक्स सो फिफ्टी इंटू जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स बाई स्विचिंग फ्रिक्वेंसी इज टेन किलो हर्ट्स इंटू इंडक्टर इज पॉइंट सिक्स इंटू मिली हेनरी दैट इज टेन टू माइनस थ्री सो डेल आई एल विल कम आउट टू बी फाइव एम पी एर ओके नाउ यू गॉट डेल आई एल इज इक्वल टू फाइव एम पी एर नाउ फाइंड आई एल वी नो इन बक बुस्ट कन्वर्टर सी हियर आई एल इज इक्वल टू आई नॉट अपॉन वन माइनस डी इफ आई विल टॉक अबाउट द मैग्नीट्यूड ऑनली देन ओके सो आई नॉट कैन बी रिप्लेस बाई v not upon r so it will be v not upon r into 1 minus d and v not is given that is 75 volt r is given 5 into 1 minus d that is equal to 0.4 so i l i will get that is equal to 37.5 ampere so what will be the i s max i s max is equal to 37.5 plus del i l by 2 that is 5 by 2 which will come out to be 40 ampere see whatever the formula i have derived and i have given you the procedure from that only the question is asked in gate exam so no need to learn about the discontinuous conduction mode for gate exam for is point of view you can learn the discontinuous conduction mode but nowadays online calc is provided so it is not possible to give the question based on discontinuous conduction mode so better to go whatever i am teaching you that much is sufficient for cracking gate exam or for solving any kind of problem in power electronics subject got it in this way i have solved all the previous year gate problem based on buck converter boost converter and buck boost converter also we have seen the concept only the continuous conduction mode in buck converter boost converter as well as in buck boost converter in this way we have covered dc to dc converter this much you have to know in the dc to dc converter from gate point of view okay so that's all about this lecture in the next lecture we will start commutation circuit there are four types of commutation class a b c d so we will see commutation circuit one by one if you guys understood the concept then please like this video and subscribe to this channel for doubt solving you can join our facebook group thanks for watching this video